What's going on guys, Octavion here playing Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. We are on the global version today and we have a brand new high score challenge and a really good banner as well uh, that I'm going to be breaking down for you guys, giving my advice on. Um, so let's hop right into it here. Uh, so first let's take a peek at the high score challenge. It's for Valor Genie. Valor Genie is very good, it is cur currently uh, one of the strongest single target medals in the entire game. Um, there will also be a speed version of it, as well as a power version of it, which is Hercules and then Aladdin and Carpet um, that will be coming in the future. So if you really don't, you know, have much of a setup where you can use this metal, uh, then, you know, really not that important that you get it um, by any means. But because of the fact of the banner that we have and the metals that give you points in the banner, it is definitely going to be a little harder to get this guy. Um... So what he does, he's four hits, raises your magic strength by seven for one turn, and he restores four gauges. And he has a very high multiplier. Um, I want It's a 6.6 .6 multiplier, and it's 200% guilt, so times that by three. Um, very powerful metal. Um, so let's take a look at the new metals we have. All of these are percentage metals. I believe they're 14% metals. <clears throat> and so... We are getting these guys right here. Um, so out of these, just to tell you which ones are, are good and which ones are really more mediocre, um, the ones you really want to get by far is going to be HD Vanitas, which is this guy here. He is a copy metal, copies the metal after it, and he's 200% guilt. So very, very good metal. Works really good in the pet slot, slot especially when you're raiding. Um, he's my go-to raid metal. I throw Lux Boost on there. And he can copy any really good friend metal for raiding. Um, and then the other best one is going to be Days Riku. Uh, Days Riku, the reason he's so good is because he increases your upright buff by one. And he fits, he does most damage in slot three. He has a very solid multiplier. I believe it's like 3.9 or something like that. It's pretty high. And then um, as long as you have him in slot three. And the reason why it works so good is with Fairy Stars and Counterpoint, it's an upright magic. And especially on Fairy Stars, it's a pretty good multiplier upright magic in slot three. And so if you have an extra attack copy metal or just a copy metal in general, um, copying... Um, Kyrie EX blinked out there for a second. Um, you know, it gives you the perfect um, extra buff that you need to get to seven if you have an extra attack copy metal. If you don't, it's still giving you an extra one, which is going to significantly increase your damage for the rest of your metals. And it, and it does have a really good multiplier. It's a great damage dealer for that slot, especially on Fairy Stars, guys. So, highly recommend those two. Um, the other ones, we'll take a really quick look at them, but they're really not that good. HD Zexion reversed. Um, you know, just the fact that they're reversed and we don't have um, Illustrated Chi on yet, you know, they're not going to be as powerful, uh, but we're likely to get her pretty soon. I'd expect her before the end of the year. And then, so, Zexion, seven hits, as does some defensive buffs. For two turns, it raises your PSM strength by four tiers, and then PSM defense by two tiers. Lowers target strength and defense by one tier. Uh, more damage, the more gauges are full. Again, not, not that fantastic, guys. HD Final Form Sora is incredibly good, but he struggles working very well. Um, so he's upright speed, does eight hits, raises upright strength by one, which is awesome, lowers defense by three for one turn, and more damage in slot five. There's three medals very similar to this that just are more powerful in different slots. This is slot five, Riku is slot three, and then um, where there's an HD Leon that goes in the pet slot, and they all do pretty much the exact same thing. Uh, Riku's um, magic, and then Leon is power. So the problem with Final Form Sora that makes him kind of hard to use is that the fact that he only does damage in slot five, it's really good, except for the fact that the main metal or uh, keyblade you're going to want to use him on is Fairy Stars. And Fairy Stars, 95% of the people running Fairy Stars are running um, Xion HD, copying that following speed metal. And since Xion is technically in the fourth slot, Xion does very little damage, does the minimum multiplier, which is a lot lower, which is not very powerful at all. Now it is nice you're getting that extra upright buff, but there's definitely better setups than that. 
Um, so this one's definitely an honorable mention, but not one of the top ones I would want. I would want Days Riku and HD Vanitas. Um, Larxene, um, three hits, lowers defense by three tiers for one attack, inflicts more damage and more gauge use. Really not that good. Has a really rough multiplier uh, condition that's hard to be consistent with, and it's reversed. So just not that good of a metal, honestly, um, compared to some of the stuff we're getting um, going forward. Like, not many people use that metal at all. It's definitely not top tier. So those are the ones we got here. As far as my advice on pulling for the banner, um, if you have a lot of jewels, definitely, definitely, I would at least pull like three or four times, if not five times for this. And also just to get the percentage points for the high score challenge. Uh, I'll be doing a video for that to give my advice on how to get the best score on that possible. Um, the, the issue is, is, you know, you could pull five times and only get the medals that aren't that good. So it's a little bit of a gamble, um, but at the same time, you want to think, guys, in JP, each of these medals had their own banner. These were all five pull mercies, and you're guaranteed to get one of them out of each pull. So definitely an incredible banner. Definitely one of the best banners we've ever had, to be completely honest. The thing that worries me is that we haven't gotten our copy banner yet, and I mean, there is potential, guys. We might not get it. You know, we don't know. There's, there's stuff they've skipped before. So that might have just been, like, something to get us ready for the anniversary. It might not be something that's actually coming to us. So a lot of people have been holding out for the copy banner to see if they can get extra attack on a copy metal, which I definitely think is a very good idea if you don't have extra attack on a copy metal. Um, also, like, if you don't have Kyrie EX yet, um, you know, I'd probably suggest holding off until one comes out. Um, you know, another banner comes out or illustrated Xi'an and trying to get those because those will help a lot more. I probably wouldn't suggest pulling for this if you don't have it. Um, although, you know, getting a little bit of upright buffs would be helpful. You're, you're going to, you know, be a little upset that you're not going to have any jewels for it when it comes time to pull her. Um, you know, hopefully we are getting a 15 pull Mercy. Um, the new Masters Aenor EX medal just came out. And, you know, that kind of could double as a Kyrie EX. It's a 15 pull Mercy, very similar to the HD, um, or to Roxas EX that we got right now, dual wielding Roxas. It's just the magic version of him. So if you want to save up, you know, if you don't want to worry about RNG getting Kyrie EX or Illustrated Xion, you could just simply save up 15 pulls worth and pull for Master Zaynort when he comes out. He's going to be really good on Diamond Dust. Um, so just something to consider as well. And then that, that's pretty much everything. High score challenge medals are basically just these medals. And then dual wielding Roxas is the 21%. And then the, um, the Roxas from the um, recent event we just had, um, Organization 13 event, is a 7%. And then we have um, the key art for VIP. Uh, if you buy VIP consistently, guys, I would definitely recommend doing some pulls from this because you'll have time to get more, you know, more jewels before that copy banner comes out, if it comes out. If you don't, you might want to consider saving them. What I'm going to do personally, because I, I really do want Days Riku more than anything, HD Vanitas would be incredible too. Um, I think I'm going to, because I'm free to play on this account, I'm going to hold off until probably towards the end of the banner you know it's a six day banner a lot of times they release those reprint banners in the middle of a banner period so see if they release it if they don't release it i might do a few polls for this especially because it gives you very better odds of getting a valor form genie which valor form genie is a very powerful metal so it's it's a tough one guys it's a tough one definitely worth pulling without a question you just might want to consider not pulling and saving for, you know, Kyrie EX or Xi'an EX if you don't have them, or possibly just saving for a, a copy banner, hoping that we get that. But you got to keep in mind, guys, we could not get that copy banner. That's always a potential. So you never know what's going to happen from JP to Global. Uh, I hope this video helped you guys out. Uh, definitely going to have some more stuff coming out soon. If you liked it, definitely like the video and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye.